filters, and for that I apologize. Whoops, and I just moved to the camera for God knows what reason. There. Sorry. Okay, so we have a couple of options of what we can do today. As you can see, I got the Color Club Sedona colors and these Color Club Multichromes. Uh, burnt out. Don't kale my vibe. Cash only, which you can see in the bottom right there is that blue color that it turns to, but then it's got like this sort of greenish grayish thing going on. Um, hooked and Rhythm and Blues. Um, and then the Sedona colors. I got the whole collection. And then we also could play more with those um, Essie Glazed Days jellies. I have chocolate milk with me today. Courtesy of my loving husband. He, I went to go get more of the chocolate syrup that I was using, the sugar-free Hershey's one that was really good. And I went to like five different stores and none of them had it. I was very depressed and sad. And so then the next day when I got home from work, he had flowers and like chocolate syrup on the table to surprise me because he went and found it. Um, okay, so we need to decide kind of what we're thinking. Um, gradient, possibly, with these. I was also considering doing some sort of dot design with the Sedona colors. Um, the jellies, to be perfectly honest, I kind of don't... I'm not in the mood for them this week like I was last week. So I'm, I think I'm probably going to save those for another day. But I was thinking maybe I would want to be, but I don't think so. Um, the color clubs, also the, the matte ones, I'm not sure if I want to leave them matte or if I want to gloss them and then add a matte top coat because of wear time. Um, we'll have to see. The texture of the matte is different. Let me show you the swatch sticks. Okay, uh, the green one's called Looking Sharp, right? On this side, we have the, the natural finish, the natural texture of the polish, right? Where it's kind of a very soft sort of a looking matte. And then I glossed this part of the swatch stick. And then this part is a matte that's done with a matte top coat. And it's more matte and it has a more even, like the matte that it makes on its own has a very slightly, I don't know, it feels almost like leather. Not like that leather OPI polish that was made. Because it doesn't have the little bits in it, but like a really smooth leather. So the texture is different. Hi, Nate. Are you looking at swatch sticks with me? Uh, we are deciding what colors to use for my nails today, and I'm welcome for viewer input on preference. These are all multi-chromes here in the front that shift color. Uh, this one goes from like a gold through reds and orangey sorts of colors. This one has like a, a magenta-ish sort of color. You can see kind of there the magenta color that it shifts to, and then through blues, and then into this, like, green. This one is, like, grayish-greenish, and it shifts through into that blue color. You can see it through the glass. Uh, and then these two are both bluish-purplish sorts of ones. This one goes from a tealier color um, to a lighter purple, and this one's a little bit darker and more azure. Um, and then these ones back here are what they look like. They're that color, they're matte polishes, and then I do have the Essie Glazed Days jellies in behind that I was thinking about using, but I decided I am not in the mood. So, unless I'm just doing plain layering with them, which I guess I might be up for, but I don't know. What are you curious about? The second one, the matte 
this matte color palette blah, blah, blah. or like this one with the don't kill my vibe the second polish that I talked about yeah I'm thinking I might want to do a gradient with the multi chromes uh, if I do a gradient with like maybe those three possibly or I guess maybe I don't know. We can do some testing. Let me get out my ever trusty lid and take off some of the dried polish on here. I love the name of it too. It's called Don't Kale My Vibe, which I think is hilarious. We have. Um, the air conditioner running in the background again and I don't have my audio filter set up for which I am ashamed because I've had the opportunity to do it and just haven't yet I'm just getting all the dry polish off of this lid so that we have more room for testing no it's warm I want it on <laughs> I appreciate you though Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is put down base color. I'm thinking that we use this one because it's the most neutral, I guess, uh, when it comes to the color of the base. But I can do a little section of each of them. The, uh, the only thing that, about these that are a little bit questionable is that they are a little bit brush strokey but if you're sponging on a gradient you don't get that now keep in mind that I'm I'm putting these little swatchy areas over black uh, they take a little bit more than that to build up the color just straight without a base angle you down a little bit. That one is hooked. And then this one is rhythm and blues. We have to wait for those to dry before we can sponge over them. Um, so what I'm going to do is put some top coat on them, but I have to wait just a little bit before I put the top coat on, otherwise I'm just going to pick up the color on the brush. So let me see if I can change the angle enough to get some different colors. My friend Colette did a polish in motion of the Don't Kale My Vibe color. Uh, that gets to those magenta ear colors. Uh, this is so hard to catch on on film, the way that the color is shifting. From this angle, I'm seeing like a, a rich forest green, uh, grayish blue, light purple, and purple. And what you're seeing is blue, light blue, um, a much more browny taupe color, and a springier green. Top coat is I'll use this one. Guess we? What does that mean? You not finish your sentence?
Yes. And um, I'll try to get photos of it too. My photos of multi-chromes are usually pretty successful because I can get more angles uh, across my fingers than I can with one flat surface, you know. Seeing them directly compared with one another across the fingers that are at different angles, you can see the shift. We're going to wait for a couple of minutes for that. And while we're waiting for a couple of minutes for that, um, I think I am going to do some testing with the Sedona colors too. Back here. I'm thinking like the nude one as the base color and then some dots with the other colors in the design. Let's get this down a little bit. This is going to need uh, two coats. It's not completely you know, a one coder, which no one is expecting it to be. I had a very little bit of a sore throat again, and it's only my I told James that it's completely my fault because I didn't get enough sleep a couple of days. And I think that my immune system is telling me, you suck. Like I said, it's my, my own fault. Oh, you haven't seen my Lord of the Rings. The one that Praise made for me. And it's not in here. So I am not going to look at it right now. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, let's get some sponges. The weird thing about makeup sponges is a lot of times they come together like this. And I do have that other kind of sponge that I got. The Whispers ones. I'm not going to go look for them right now, though. I can go get it later, maybe at the end of stream or something. But I don't want to get up and, and go do that now. Nope, not quite. Waiting is impatient. Okay, this is Natural Wonder, the nude color. Um, while we're doing this, I might as well take off what I have on my nails right now, which is the papaya design. Okay, multitask. Excuse me, I just banged into my little shelf over there. There aren't, uh, there are some shimmers actually, and this gray color I know gets into the cuticles like nobody's business, so I'm actually going to use my clips, even though there aren't any like big glitters or anything that need to soak off. If I can soften everything. Um, and then just slide it right off the end of the nail. That's what I'm gonna do.
Where's the other one? I have five fingers, darn it. I don't know where the fifth clip went. It should be right here where the other ones were. But it's not. That's okay, that just means I have to do four at a time. Or get one of the other ones out of the cupboard back over there, which is probably what I'll do. Because I do have a set of ten, even though I only use five at a time, because I like to have a hand free. I don't want to just be flopping around with this, you know. That would be very annoying. Yes, it would be. Imagine trying to drink my chocolatey milk with this on both hands. It would not work. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nope, still not dry enough. When you're actually doing stuff on your nails, the wait time from like one end of the ten fingers all the way, you know, if you do all of them and then you loop back around and you start again on the first finger, it doesn't feel like it's taken that long. It feels like you're just immediately in the action process the whole time. Uh, but when you just have to sit and wait and you're not actually doing anything while you're waiting, time goes by so slow. So that's why we're doing this now. Mostly I'm worried about getting that gray off before I scrub, and that's why I'm turning the cotton ball. Um, yeah. I did, I was so much overkill on the skin bits on the tips of these papayas. I used four different colors with dry brushing and like a very like subtle variation between the parts of the color and nobody could see it in my photos. Let me see if I can actually, if it shows here. Can you see the very subtle variation in color? from like the, these have acetone kind of blurring them, so that sucks, but like from the orangier color to some yellower and then the greenish color, try hard. <laughs> That's okay. I'm a try hard. We were talking about castle nails the other day, and we are going to do those, but I actually am going to have to wait until the fall because the student that asked for them and suggested them uh, is done for the school year now. And that sucks. You couldn't see the green? Okay, well, right there. Do you see the green in the blurriness? There's green right there. It's a yellowish green, but it's green. The blur is great. <laughs> well, the, the blur wasn't great when I had you up close. Did the blur help you see the green? Is that a sarcastic great or an authentically honest great? Oh, by the way, in you reblogged this design from me before I realized that one of the colors in the list was incorrect. 
Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, and if you care, you might want to go back and reblog it again and take out the first one because I was doing it from memory in the bedroom because I was lazy and I got all of them right except for that one and they were two polishes that were from the same collection that are similar in color. They're both lightish grays. Um, anyway, I wrote the wrong one and then I, you know, not too far after, it was less than 24 hours later, realized that it was the wrong one and changed it, but you were so Johnny on the spot. that you've already sped it on its way. I have some flaking at the end of this finger of this nail. Can you see that? No, you can't. Let me change the focus. Right there. I have some flaking happening. And I'm going to uh, buff the edge of that. so that it's not going to catch on stuff. Once it has polish on it, it's not a big enough weak area that I think it'll be damaged or in danger. Um, and I am not committing to filing all my nails down today being lazy this week. I'll do it next week. Um, but I do want it not to get caught on things before I put polish on it. Okay. See there how it's less rough now that I buffed it? Yeah. Father's Day is tomorrow, so that's why I'm streaming tonight instead of tomorrow. We're going to go see my dad for brunch, and then we're going to go see James's dad for something in the afternoon. He said anything after 12, but I don't know. We might do like, I don't know, I, I haven't responded to that yet because I'm streaming and I just saw it a minute ago. Okay, for these, we're going to put the clean part of the cotton against the nail and not waste them. For the ones that are still, um, you know, not completely covered in polish. I don't want that to touch the handle. I have the handle of my cuticle scoop right here. And that does get dissolved in acetone. I don't want it to get stuck and get cotton fuzzies in it because it did have that happen once and it was annoying. Okay. What have you been up to, Nate? I don't think I've gotten like a life update from you and several years like we hang out and chat and talk and stuff sometimes but I don't know like your overall life status work 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 and more work yeah where do you work now you're at a factory of some kind but what kind or am I totally wrong about that And now the claw is on the other hand. Yeah, okay. Cool. Should have made myself more chocolate milk. I'm all out. Sadness. Yeah, okay. Is it interesting to you or is it just work? Because, I mean, that's also an option. 
<clears throat> I'm going to have to come in with a different cotton ball for the secondary scrubbing. Yeah. Understandable. Hello, Brill Hante K. Is that how you say your name? I don't know if that's accurate. Brill Hant, Brill Hant, Brill Hante. Let me know. This one needs a little bit of reshaping. It grew a little bit wonkily. Oh, I didn't change my stream title. What did I actually, what did I call it last time? I don't remember. I need to go change that. I apologize. Uh, this is nail art with color club something actually is the plan. Hang on. Yeah, Water Marble Something was last time, and I did do a Water Marble Something last time, and you can check out the VOD either here or on YouTube. I just uploaded it today. But today is not Water Marble Something. Today is probably uh, either a Brillante or Brillant or Brill, 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 Brillante. I'm sorry. I'm probably not doing that well. Um, I can't type until I get these fingers off. So I'm, I'm just going to have to soldier through with the wrong title for another couple minutes. Because, you know, I'm thinking like a slightly Spanish pronunciation would be brillante, right? But I don't know if that's... the right direction. I need more cotton. I need more acetone. Oh, brillan brillante? Like that? Is the E also silent? Is it brillant? I have the residual healings of a hangnail on that corner of that nail. Brillant? Okay. Cool. Where are you from? If you refer to me as an English speaker, that assumes that you are not initially an English speaker natively. I have some students whose mom is from Brazil. So Portuguese. Brillant. Cool. My mom was born in uh, Peru, which obviously, while not being Portuguese, is also in South America. Um, and some of the phonetics of Portuguese and Spanish are kind of similar. Right? <sighs> okay, so that will be ready to do some gradient testing on as soon as I'm done taking this off after I change my stream title. Ugh. I don't know if you guys could hear that. That was my neck. 
cracking. My hangnail on this finger is much less angry than it was last week. It's healing well. I've been giving it lots of moisturizer. A mixed bag with what? Hangnails? Yeah, okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. My aunt uh, still lived in Peru up until a little bit ago, but she had to come back to the United States because she's dealing with cancer um, treatments, unfortunately. Uh, and they have more options here than she had locally. Yeah. Uh, yeah, another one. Good stuff. And this nail also has some flaking. Most of that flaking was caused by a day like three weeks ago where I was kind of lazy and peeled off some of my nail polish on some of my nails when I really shouldn't have. And lifted some of the layers of keratin. So, you know, I'm just living in the consequences of my own actions here. It's not severe enough to have to worry too much about that. Cool. I mean, uh, it, she had breast cancer like 15 years ago and went into remission and has had a you know, long time of, you know, being well. And then uh, they found out that it had metastasized elsewhere. But, you know, she's a believer and uh, she knows that she, she knows where she's going when she's gone. So. She actually has a really good perspective on it. In Old Norse land. I don't know anything about Old Norse. I know a very, very little bit about Irish Gaelic because Praise told me some when she took it that as a class when she was in college. Like, it wasn't a college class. It was like a community class that she took while she was in college, just age-wise. Oh, goodness, what is this doing in my space? Get out of here. Little light. All right, so... Now that that's off, let's, oh, that's hilarious and sad. There was acetone that got on this paper towel and it re-moistened a bunch of the polish on the underside of the lid that I had used for testing the other day. Okay, yeah, sure. That would be cool to check out. You're doing, um, like, studying from, like, a YouTube channel with lessons or whatever? you followed. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, so let's do a little bit of a gradient test here. We're going to put don't kill my vibe. And then we're going to put cash out. The base color for this is so interesting. It's like a maroon that the pigment is suspended in. Uh, let's actually do uh, Rhythm and Blues as the third one. Make sure you're not getting the other pigment into the bottle where it doesn't belong. And then we're going to Counts the gradient to use a very awkward terminology onto the test area. That looks pretty cool. We're going to do it across all of the base testing colors. And then We'll go back and do a second layer because obviously that's not completely opaque. And that one, the don't, you can see the uh, opacity, right, of the don't kill my vibe color. I should probably just bring the focus up a little higher because when I'm actually sponging, I'm holding it closer and then you're out of focus and you can't see what I'm doing. 
there. That's probably better. I'm not going to do this gradient over the hooked base color. I'm going to do this gradient with hooked instead of rhythm and blues over that one. Okay. Let's go back and do a second coat. Excuse me for the snuffle. You guys, I'm getting really close to having enough followers to be an affiliate. I think I have 48 and you need 50. Hey, Lexi, uh, we're deciding what we want to do today. Um, one of the things we're testing is some gradients with some of the Color Club multi-chromes. We're testing that out right now. Um, as an option. Um, and I also have these Color Club mats, the Sedona collection for summer, uh, that we will be doing some testing on. This is the base of one of those from that collection. Um, uh, maybe something dotty? We have yet to decide. We are in the decision making phases. So if you have any opinions or thoughts, feel free to comment them. This is sponging pretty well with two layers. I think I will go in with a third just to oomp up the, um, like the Don't Kill My Vibe on this one's a little bit sad. But it's looking like as a base, Don't Kill My Vibe would probably be the best base because it helps itself uh, build up a little bit better and the other two are faster to build up on their own. If we ended up doing this one, you like the color combo, I'm glad. Uh, I want to see what it looks like from the other angles, which you guys can't see because my camera abilities to catch the shift is awful. Uh, it's like a purple and then like a silver and then like a more cool toned green. Anyway, we could do, uh, yeah, like I said, we're still deciding. We're still deciding. Okay, let's do the test with the hooked color. I'm just going to use a different sponge because that one's got other stuff on it. This is a lighter color um, than the Rhythm and Blues. The first time that you apply the polish to the sponge, you have to be a little bit more generous than subsequent applications. Uh, just because there's nothing in the sponge already, and you, yeah, you don't want to just be left doing something super um, flat. Yeah, that. You see the difference between the first coat and the second coat in the opacity of the colors. Coat. 
not the most opaque yet. I kind of like the fade of that one. It feels lighter and slightly more summery to me. Going from the green down to the blue, that's a lighter blue. I think it needs a third coat, though. I am going to do a third coat on these other ones, though, and let that one dry for a second. Between those two, the Don't Kale My Vibe as a base color works better. I mentioned that on the second coat, but I still think it's true. And... Uh, that one actually worked out okay. This color is opaque in only two coats on the nails. So I think this one might be better as a base color overall because these swatches are all over black. We can see that the Don't Kill My Vibe gets opaque over that color okay in three sponges, but it would help everything be more opaque over the nail. Yeah. All right, let's do the third on the other. James is doing laundry. So if you hear the door opening and closing and like, hefting noises. It's him carrying heavy laundry baskets because he's a loving husband. Okay. What do you think? Do you like the darker blue at the other end or the lighter blue at the other end better? between these. This is choice A. This is choice B. This one feels kind of like a grassy bank at the side of a river. A little bit to me. This one feels like not quite that way. I don't know. Let's do some of the dot tests over here. This is now dry. And that. That's actually not bad for a dry time. Okay, um, the other colors are this pink color, which is called I'll Never Desert You. I'm just going to get a little bit of that out and do a couple of dots across. You like the darker one? Okay, yeah. I am kind of leaning toward that too. That I think the darker one would look a little bit nicer on the nail. It would feel a little more balanced, I think. I'm going to do... Uh, wow, that white balance is awful. I apologize. There, that's a little better. Um, some dots with some of these other colors. That is not showing up well. There. These feel slightly more summery to me than the color club ones. The other, well, they're all color club. Um, than the ones that we were just doing. They're um, a little bit more colorful in a brighter way. Mm, slightly dustier too, which 
which I'm always about, which is why I got the whole collection. Seriously, lights. Why are you trying to kill everything within range? I knew what you meant, Lexi. <laughs> well, the big cat's here. Big cat. Well, she's yawning. Look at her. She's so sweet. This is the corner of my computer. Please don't mind that. And she's like, oh, James is coming in. What's going on? Love you. To be honest, between the two, I am digging this better. If I can get the white balance to not do what it's doing. Hang on, let's just bring this down. Uh, there's some in the trunk of my car. Uh, let me bring the focus up better, because that's a better color representation. There we go. Of the matte dot deal. Um, I might not use all of the colors if I did that design. And I don't know if I would want to leave it matte or make it glossy or what. But I kind of like the look of the dots without a top coat with the matte texture. I just don't know how well it would wear. Hmm. Question marks. Look at the big snoof. What are you snoofing, huh? Big one? You're looking right at the camera? Oh, she's a star. Yes. This is her pillow. She sits on it. Because she's a queen. She's like me. Oh, yes, queen. What a good girl. <laughs> Oh boy, she just loves the love. Yeah, I gotta do this before I get stuff on my nails and I can't scratch them anymore, hey? Mm hmm, kitty smiles. Okay, actually, what I should do before I do anything else is change the title of my stream because it is not Water Marble something. It is, and apparently when I open Twitch, I open my own video. I apologize. I'm going to label it Color Club something, <laughs> because I still don't know what it's going to be. But we do know that it's probably going to be that. Okay. There. Okay. How do you guys feel about the uh, dot situation versus the gradient situation? Which vibe are you digging? I'm digging this one. Like from the cuticle area, right? Do like a little dot coming out from the... I, that's what we're going to do. Sorry, everybody who is into the multichromes. We'll do those a different day. They're not going to be gone forever. We'll come back to them. Now we just have to decide which of the colors we want to use. 
and what order. If we're using, we're using the nude as the base color so that the other colors will kind of pop a little bit more. If we're doing that, we should gradate the other colors somehow. Does going from the orange to the pink to the green feel like a good order, or should we switch the orange and the pink? Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm thinking. These are a little bit more fall, winter, which is fine. You know, it's cute. But, oh, sorry, baby girl. My swatch stick box needs to share your pillow a little bit. Um, we do you think that the orange and then the pink and then the green, or do you think that the green and then the pink and then the orange? Let's test the other order next to it here. I'm starting with the orange again. That's not what I said I was going to do. Okay, so we got the pink. Do the pink. And then we'll do the orange. And then the green. And then the other decision, of course, is if I'm doing dots, do I want the dots to actually just stagger like that? Or do I want to increase the density of each circle of dots? Made that one too big. Like, because I feel like that's too spread out. I would feel like I would want to increase, right, the density of the dots going around with each color. Right? Is this a faulty thought? Yes, yes it is. That looks stupider. I don't like that as well, nearly. The question then though is the amount of dots for each row. I think I actually like the orange in the center better than the pink in the center because the orange is slightly darker. Okay, Lexi. Uh, let's get the base color on the nail so it can start drying. Yes, she's looking at the giant jug of acetone. You're a good girl. What a sweet, sweet kitty. Alright, so base coat first. Base coat is important, very important for me when I'm doing my nails. If I don't have base coat, my polish peels off in one giant sheet. Um, and I've done trial and error on base coats, a lot of different base coats, and the best base coat for me that makes the wear time the longest on my nails is the Glisten and Glow base coat. Um, it just likes my body chemistry the best. And everybody, not everybody's nail art, nail polish base coat preferences are going to be the same because not everybody's bodies produce the same amount of oils from their nail bed. Not everybody's um, chemistry, I guess is the word that people use a lot. Body chemistry is the same. Oh, 
I have a little piece of skin here that I don't want to stay there because it's sticking into my nail space. Oh, there's an ambulance or a fire truck or something. There. Goodness gracious, get out of there. Okay, that's good enough. Uh, the last little dry bit there is smooth. It just needs to be moisturized again. <laughs> what are you doing, my darling big cat? She's got her head drooped all down the side of the chair. Okay, so this is the Glisten and Glow Base Coat. It's just called Base Coat. It used to have a different name. Uh, they renamed it a couple of years ago just to Base Coat, just plain. I mean, Top Coat helps with longevity also because it seals everything in and prevents the lifted, like, if a polish edge, and, like, especially if you have nail art, if there's two different edges to where the color is, it gives it one solid sealed-in surface. Okay. If you can hear the music in the background uh, that's like coming through James's headphones, I'm very sorry. Um, it's some Final Fantasy Stormblood music, background music thing for the title screen. And I don't own the rights to it, and I'm not trying to play it, and I'm sorry to anyone who might complain about it later if they notice it at all. I don't think you can hear it, but if you can, please forgive me. Alright. This little... Uh, Revlon file I don't really use to file because I don't like metal files but I use it to get excess polish out of my cuticle area uh, similar to the way that a lot of people do uh, use an orange stick I find it's a little easier to clean off than an orange stick though it doesn't really absorb quite the same way I'm wrapping the tips with my base coat because then when I wrap my color there will be base coat around the underside to help that wrapped color stick to my nail instead of chipping off really quickly and then causing chips to go around the rest of the nail. Okay. Base coat done. First layer of base coat for snail is dry enough to apply base color. So we're going to come over here. This is, as I said previously, Natural Wonder. We are not going to glom on the coats here. I know that we said that we did two coats in the swatch, and I did two coats on my swatch sticks when I was swatching them earlier. 
Um, but I would really rather not glom them on because that will take longer to dry and I'm not planning at this moment on using a quick dry top coat because I want to try wearing them in their matte state. In which case, wow that brightness, um, in which case the, uh, the base color itself has to be relatively thin to dry quickly. So multiple thinner coats are better than thicker coats for that purpose. I'm going to wrap, oops, I'm going to wrap the tips for this first layer and look at what I just did. Just talking about smooth, thin layers. I think that'll be okay once I put a second coat over it. If I address it slightly now, but oof. Not the cleanest application. We are not going to wrap the tips on the second coat because we want it to be as smooth as possible. That's a little bit extra. Too much on the underside. We will be doing cleanup around the edges though. And that will help. Uh, everything looks clean and neat. Okay. See how wrapping the tip gets extra globby polish right on the end of your nail? Usually I stroke back over it to smooth it out again. I wish that white balance wouldn't do that. It only does it sometimes and I don't know why. And it drives me nuts. Okay. Mm. I did hit my cuticle a couple of times just now. Oops. That's what cleanup brushes are for, though. That is what cleanup brushes are for. And cuticle scoops, as previously mentioned. Fuzzies do not belong. I'm going to angle it this way a little bit because this hand tends to want to be further over. Now, being that that's the side of the body it's from, that makes sense logically. The problem of fuzzies, good gracious. I accidentally bumped my finger into that cotton ball and got like six zillion fuzzies stuck to the end of it. That actually messed up my wrapping of the tip on that nail. So I'm gonna do a little bit more right now real quick so that it has more of a chance to try before I come back again with my second coat. Mm. 
This is not my cleanest application of polish of all time, and I apologize. But it will all be okay. Even if it ends up looking crappy without the top coat, we can add the top coat. I just want to see if I can do it without. It's been years since I've tried to wear a polish without top coat, and I don't even know how to judge the length of time for it to dry. I think the last time that I tried to wear polish without top coat was in, like, the one time I painted my nails when I was 15 before I decided that it's not worth it, and then before I decided you know, that it was worth it and tried again, but I already knew about top coat at that point, so I bought quick dry top coat so that I just had it right off the bat. Oh no, that's not true, because I did wear the matte, there was an Essie matte uh, nude that I wore a couple of times. Um, it was called All Eyes on Nudes, and I did wear that a couple of times. But I don't remember how fast the dry time was. Because that was a couple of years ago. Oh goodness, there's a huge old fuzz. Get out of here, fuzz. Hang on. Let's just... Right onto the paper towel. We'll pretend that that did not happen. There. Okay. I wish that this wouldn't get so blown out by my lights. I have ring light. A ring light is supposed to diffuse light and pre prevent things from happening like this. And I can't turn off the ring light because then I can't see what I'm doing. It's not bright enough in here. <sighs> okay, is this dry enough for a second coat? Almost. The answer is almost. I'm going to wait just a minute. Let's see if I can get a different angle. It's pinker than my skin. I don't know if that's showing up on, on camera, but it, it, it blends in pretty well. It's, it's fairly good move for my skin tone. What are you doing with your foot? <laughs> She's so cute. Ah, uh, okay. Let's go in and do our second coat and really make sure that we're doing as few brush strokes as we can to keep things smooth. There's a something. It doesn't look like a fuzzy, but it's a something that is on my nail. There we go. I don't know where that came from or what it was, but it was trying to make that surface not smooth. It was like a little lump.
I'm getting a lot of those little things in this nail. I'm wondering what's up. There. I was able to smooth that out to a degree. My thought process at this point, what I'm thinking is top coat and then dots on top of top coat so that we still get the textural thing but we also are able to smooth out the color the base color and have a clean canvas for it the question then though is matte for the base color or glossy for the base color because that's a little lump too lumpy you can see that that's not smooth I don't like that Okay, I gotta stretch for a second. Oh, the baby cat is over on James's chair. Right. Oh, not there. Excuse me. I was trying to angle it down for so that it can go right there. <laughs> Sorry for the scare. That's James's chair, and right here is the big cat. We're gonna leave it on Big Cat, I think. Uh, you know, just because it's not in danger of twisting around too much and falling. <laughs> Gosh. Okay, second hand. I wish that I knew what was going on with those little lumps. They they feel like dried polish to me, but I literally just opened this bottle of polish and I haven't been letting like polish dry along the rim of the thing or anything that would get into the polish in a weird way. I just missed my whole nail there, wolf. <sighs> but that's what this is for. Yeah, it is odd. And it's frustrating me. But 
but it's not going to affect the dots. And since we decided we're doing top coat on the base color, I'm not too upset about it. The only question then, though, as I said before, is do we want shiny base color with matte dots? Or do we want matte base color with matte dots? I am of two minds. I think that they both would look pretty cool. And I don't know which one I would prefer. Anybody have any preferences? Um, before we I think I want to do the dots before we do cleanup. <sighs> no. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do one cleanup today. We're not going to do other ones. Let's do Peach Beach Top Coat, the Fast and Hard. And the reason I decided to do that is because that I knew that as I'm doing this cuticle scooping with the top coat, it will help remove some of the polish that is still there as well. Gosh. That needs some correction. I jabbed. Uh, into the edge there. Okay, there's a hair again, get out of there, okay. Oh. 
Oh, goodness. I told you I didn't get as much sleep as I should have yesterday, but I got plenty of sleep last night, so I should not be this absent-minded in what I'm doing. I keep banging my fingers into stuff that shouldn't... Frustrating. My proprioception is off today. <sighs> that whole cuticle area got messed up too. And you know what? I'm just going to start over. Look at this. Look at this. I'm just going to start over. I just, no. This is too jacked up. It's not worth saving. We're going to start over. Where is the focus? Sorry, big cat. I need to bring it down. I think. There. I think my first coat that I did, I was thinking, I was trying to be too careful with mind to not putting top coat on it. And therefore, as a result, I was not being careful enough about my cuticle placement and other things. Because I was worrying about the self-leveling and the, the level of the surface level of each coat which if I'm using top coat I don't have to worry about because it will smooth things out and that just started me off on the wrong foot what are you doing big cat? I'm not sure where she thinks she's going. Look, she's over here with me. There's her head. You can't see it. She, it's right there, right there. She's going back, back to the cushion. What is this box really that much in your way? Fine. Yeah, you. You're cute. Okay. So. That's off. Let's take some more of this off. Okay.
Okay. And the one on this side. Okay, we have a clean slate again. Base coat. Hi, Athalas. Yes. I uh, am starting over because I banged my base coat after top coat in several places because I'm a klutz and not being careful enough. And we need to change the angle of this because it's trying to do that stupid thing. There we go. That's a little better. Nope. Yep. There. That's good. Much less washed out. Ignore the dry skin around the edges. It will be moisturized again at the end and look much less like crust. <laughs> Okay. Get out of there, fuzzy. Base coat hand one done. Yes, it was perfect timing for you. We did a little bit of testing with the uh, oil slick multi chromes, but we decided, well, I decided with some agreement from chat that the Sedona colors were more summery. So that's what we're using. We're going to do a little dot cure. I got too much on my brush. So I have to scoop out this side of things. There. Base coat. Okay. Okay. 
Base color to tell you again is Natural Wonder by Color Club. It's a very nice little nude color that is very slightly pinker than my skin tone. It is a matte color, but as we've previously established in the stream, we will be top coating the base color. And I am leaning toward shiny base matte dots. The dots will be going over top of the glossed base color just because wear time, you know, and also uh, it's harder to get matte polishes to be level and even. So I'm just avoiding that issue by putting top coat on it. Okay, and then across the tip. <sighs> my cheek is itchy. You can't see me. I'm scratching it with the back of my cuticle scoop. And I was making a very weird face. But because you're looking at the beautiful big cat instead, you don't get to see that. I don't even know if she's being beautiful right now or if you are just seeing her butt. Because I am looking at my nails and not at the camera. Uh, nope, it's just her butt. Hi. Love you. The baby is in your chair, yes. Thinning out a bit. There we go. Hey, do you see how much neater I am when I'm painting my nails when I'm not trying to make the coats look flat? Yes. Yes, it does. She, uh, I was going to say absconds with, but that implies that she takes it somewhere. <laughs> she uh, thieves his chair fairly regularly. Okay, so there's the first coat. I need to stretch my legs. we remove it before it gets covered with polish, that would be a good thing. Okay, I think that was a little bit too low. Sorry. I'm trying to uh, let my legs stretch still while I did that thumb. Hopefully that won't make the camera go all wonka do again.
I got white paint on my hand, apparently. That can only be from the cleanup brush. That is exactly the same place and color of white that I would expect if I got the cleanup brush onto my skin when it had acetone on it. Oh, there's cat dinner time. <laughs> I don't know if you could hear the uh, the can open, but she heard it. And she went running. I'll turn the camera in just a second after I finish painting a snail. There. Squeak, squeak, they say. Okay. This got tipped when I... There we go. Banged into it earlier, apparently. Okay. Hopefully that's okay. Are you alright? I am going to add a little bit here where I bang into it just so that the base color is not getting messed up in its opacity. Neater, right? Still not completely smooth and even and neat, but better than it was before. Okay. For cleanup's sake, later. I'm going to let that dry for just a second. And then we're going to go back in with a second coat. got too much on this side and there that's a little better There's a hair there, and I know that it's a dark enough hair that it will show through, so I'm trying to get a little bit more polish directly on top of the hair because it didn't want to brush out there.
there. Okay. I almost dropped it. Okay. <laughs> okay. I didn't want to sit forward again. I wanted to lean back for a second, and I knew I needed to see that again. Okay. That hand's done with the base color. We're not going to bang it into something else. We're just, we're not, because we did the first time we had to start over. I don't want to do that again. <sighs> okay. Second hand. Obviously, I'm going to have to scoop that cuticle. I flooded it. <sighs> there. That's okay. I got some of those weird dry bits again.
Okay. I'm thinking about TV shows and the number of seasons and all those kinds of things. Like, what would it be like to be the writer of a TV show and you know how many, like how you want to tell a story and then you tell the story and then they want you to continue the show. I know that's not the majority of shows' problems. Most shows' problems are I want to tell this story and oops, I got canceled so I have less time to tell it than I wanted. But there's a lot of like shonen manga things and anime that, you know, I'm thinking about Bakuman, which is my favorite manga. Uh, you know, they encountered that problem several times. It's not a show, I guess. It's a serialized story, right, in manga form, but, or, you know, where they're ready to be done telling the story and they're supposed to keep going because they have a contract and they're expected to, you know, provide more content and all of this stuff. Okay, we're putting dot coat on the base color. <laughs> and we're going to remove the hair that got into it successfully. Okay, pop the bubble that I created over here. When I pushed the top coat out of my sidewall, I created a bubble, actually a little series of bubbles along this edge. Get out of there, bubble. Obviously, we will do more complete top coat after the rest of the design. And I'm just going to leave all that polish on the edge. But I don't want to let it all dry and make a weird lip at the edge of the polish either. So that's why I do this. What is the 75 in your name referencing, Nate? It's not your birthday. Unless you were born on July the 5th, which I don't remember one way or the other. <laughs> yeah, okay. Because I was going to say, if it is your birthday, it's coming up soon. Okay. 
Oh no, do you see that hair? Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there, hair. To the edge you go. Hooray, I got it out. And I did not push hard enough with the brush to damage the base color. So yay! Success! There it is, right in the edge. And now it is gone. Oh, very glossy. I'm going to let that set for just a second before I go on to my other hand. Oh, big ass back. Ember, the queen. Most darlingest cat. I don't know what that was with her foot. And she was catching a, an invisible thing in the air. Okay, let's go on and do top coat on the second hand. See the bubbles there that I just made when I was scooping? Get out, please. Yeah. There. That's all right. I'm thinking about Stranger Things. Wondering when the next season is going to come out. Because it's been... How long? A year? Almost? In October it'll be a year? Or is that two years? I don't remember. I saw the box sets the other day at the store. Speaking of mental note, I need to go to get more gift cards for the speech store at work. Okay, I can't forget to do that. She's having a good old clean over there. <sighs> OK. 
Okay. Uh, something happened to my index mail. It looks like there's a fuzzy or something right there. I'm going to push a little with my licked finger. And smooth that out a little bit. There. That's better. I fixed it. The baby cat is down behind her tower, playing with something and hitting the wall, making a very silly noise. I don't think you can hear it. We are going to have to finish cleaning up that edge after the top coat dries because it's too unstable right now to really do it. The top coat is not set. Trying to make sure that that. There we go. There was a little bit of something that got into that little sidewall. I didn't want the top coat to like dry stuck around it so that I couldn't get it out. Okay. Top coat is done. Network errors. Oh boy. That's no good. We are going to come back in now with the dots on the first hand uh, and then we're going to do the dots on the second hand and then we're going to do clean up and then we'll be done I say that like the dots are not going to take several minutes but they are <laughs> okay, let's put this out of the way and this out of the way we're starting with this color which is called red rock crossing and we're going to do um oh gosh where's my dotting tool am I sitting on it no oh I put it back in here okay we're gonna do three dots okay. 
of that right at the cuticle. And we're going to make sure we're cleaning off the dotting tool between nails. because we don't want that slightly off center. Mm, I don't care enough. Uh, we don't want the dots to get progressively larger as we go from one side of the hand to the other. Right? Right. There's the first row of dots. Then we're going to go in with the pink, which is called I'll Never Desert You, spelled desert. And we're going to go in between the dots and also here at the edge because that feels like a more complete half circle than stopping with just the two Okay. Clean off the dotting tool. Between. Between. At the edge. At the edge. That one is not quite as even of a spreading, but I'll survive. Okay. Okay, the next color we're going in with is called Looking Sharp, which is this uh, color, this green color. I'm sure they're trying to evoke a cactus, right, with the name. Here's the green. You see how as the circle thing grows, it looks less off-center. 
because I'm very carefully skewing it to be slightly, hopefully, more even looking. <laughs> I am going to get a little bit more of this out because I had a smaller dot than the other colors and it, it started to dry a little faster. Now these dots, the very ones on the edge, I'm not trying to get the entire dot on the nail if it doesn't feel like it should be. I'm letting it be like a partial dot or a half dot or whatever. I just don't want it to feel like the pattern completely stops right there. Okay. Make sure the dotting tool is cleaned off. I'm not going to put one on the other side, it's too close to the edge already. <sighs> okay, and then the next color that we're going to be putting dots with is called Made in the Shade, and it's a kind of a green-leaning blue. I'm liking this. I'm really happy with how evenly the dots are turning out. They're not getting too big or gloopy or globby or weirdly edged. Like sometimes when you're dotting, if you do, like this one did, this green one did on this pinky. On this very, on this edge over here, this green one got weird but not hugely weird, and I feel like I might be able to clean that up with my cleanup brush just a little bit. Um, well, a littler brush. Let's actually check that out right now. Nope, oh, that brush is too fuzzy. I'm going to use a little thin one. Let's see if I can just smooth out some of the edges of this dot.
Yes, that's less awful to me. Okay, so then we're going to go in with the last color, which is a purple leaning blue called You Rock My World. <sighs> Look at how sleepy the big cat is, how sweet. And obviously those are more spread out. I'm not going to go to the edges of the nail with that color, I don't think, on that some. The spacing's not 100% perfect, but it's close enough that I think that it looks good. Okay. Make that dot a little bigger. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Now, obviously, with my different nail sizes, the pinky has less blank space after the dots than the thumb does. But the overall effect feels pretty consistent. That's cool. We're going to do cleanup, obviously, but I like that. It's cute. It's cute. Um, I'm actually going to do some cleanup on this hand before no I'm not I'm gonna wait I'm gonna do it all together at the end okay so back to the orangey color for the second hand what is this called red rock rising is that right am I remembering that right Three orange dots. There's a hair literally going right through the one place on the nail that I put that dot. How inconvenient. Those dots run into each other, and I don't. I'm not happy with that. I don't want the dots to run into each other. I'm going to do a little bit of this real quick. Some acetone on a little brush. We're going to separate those dots from one another really quickly without getting too involved with the other areas of the nail. And then we're going to go in and redot them. <clears throat> uh, this middle one already has a little bit more polish on it. So we're going to remove more of that dot so that the new dot won't be so, so thick. Okay. Try again. Whoop. Okay. Okay. 
that I, I still will need to clean up the edge of that, but they're not touching each other enough to bother me anymore. And I think that I will be able to fix it the rest of the way pretty easily. Okay, gotta get a little bit out of that cuticle on that side. And on this side. And right here. Oh, that's all right. Okay, and then the pink again. Okay, so we're doing between the dots, between the dots, and then edge, and I'm trying, like I said earlier, to make the dots the same size. So sometimes that means I have to dot off excess onto the lid, and sometimes it means I have to go back and make it bigger. Right? That pink dot there is not perfectly round. I'm going to have to adjust that slightly. With a little bit of acetone to make the top of it look flat. That's a little bit more even on that part of it anyway. That's okay. I need to get more pink out because it was sitting there drying while I was fixing that. Hey Lexi, this is hand number one done. Obviously not completely done because I have to do cleanup, but that's the uh, the idea of what we're doing on hand number two. Thank you. It just felt more summery to me. And it's actually starting to heat up here, you know. So I wanted something that looked cool. And not like cool, like cool, but like cooling. 
this feels pretty cool to me. Oh, you can't see the big cat's face because she's stretched out too weirdly. There. Look at her little airplane arms. <laughs> she's so freaking cute. Oh, she's Superman. <laughs> it's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's Amber. Mm. Got a little bit of a thread going off of that dot right there. There. I got most of it with the cuticle scoop, but I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't ruining everything. That dot's a little thick, but I know that it will dry and I need to let it do its thing. Okay. Oh, she tucked her feet. Hey, big girl. Yeah, you are so cute. I'll be able to pet you again in a little bit. Okay, and then the next one is... Looking Shark. I think. I think that's what it's called. all that polish off. That dot is doing the thing that that other green dot did on the pinky on the other nail. I didn't have enough polish on my dotting tool to begin with, and then I tried to go back and make it a bigger dot and um, made the edges no longer completely round. 
I might take that off and redo it. And by might, I mean here I go. Okay, and there is a little bit of residue that I'm gonna get with this brush now. Like right here. There's a little bit of green still showing. But it didn't come off all the way. There. The other dots um, hopefully will disguise that a little bit. Um, but I am going to add a little bit of top coat there, too. If I need to. We'll see. I'll come back to it. Okay, good night, Nate. Have a good night. I am going to do something that I have done before, which is getting a little bit of acetone on a finger that doesn't have other polish and then doing that right across an area where my top coat is not perfectly smooth to help smooth it out. Okay, let's go in with the next color, Made in the Shade. That's looking all right. 
These make me think of the uh, dot candies that come on the paper. I'm going to put a little bit of top coat out. Like I said, I thought that I might want to add some onto that other nail, and I do. Uh, that's my thinner brush. Where did I put my thinner brush? Here it is. Look at the big cat chin. She's so sweet. Okay, so we're going to get a little bit of top coat, and we're going to kind of go right there and I am going to get a little bit of acetone and blend the edge just a little bit right there where the blue dot will be Okay, and just between the dots, very slightly, and hopefully once that all sets down and dries, it will blend in. Hey Colette, this hand is done, except for cleanup, and we still need to add the darkest blue to this hand. I did all of the colors, it's all six colors from the um, Sedona collection, but I put a glossy top coat on the base so that the dots would uh, contrast as matte against the glossy background. All right, so this last color is called, as we said earlier, You Rock My World. It's a purple leaning blue. Not completely purple-ish, you know, it's not like a purple blue, like a blurple, but it's more purple leaning than green leaning. A cool toned blue. Um, and we're gonna add our dots of this. Okay. One. Two. There we go. Cleaning off the dotting tool in between. How were your nachos, by the way? Were they everything that you've been missing? That doesn't curve as much as the other nails. It's a little bit too straight across. I might have to adjust that. You know what? That nail already is the one I adjusted the other dot on. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait and see. I might be okay with it. We'll, we'll have to wait and, and see the whole hand all together. Do you see what I mean about the dark blue dots going halfway, like not curving as much? I do not understand people who are like, if you need a slightly bigger dot, just take your dotting tool and like rotate it in a circle slightly. Because whenever I do that, it doesn't make a round dot. It leaves like weird glidgly edges on it. That pink dot got a fingerprint in it. That 
Let's move that out a little bit. There we go. And as we said on the first hand, the pinky has less uh, non-dot space than the other nails, especially when compared to the thumb, right? If you look at the pinky and the thumb next to each other, there's a lot more nude base showing on the end there. Yes, getting even round dots. I'm actually very pleased with most of these. There's one dot on this nail that's a little bit not round, one dot on this nail, and one green dot that I was able to correct. This pink dot, uh, these two dots here kind of ran together and I had to correct them, but I think they look okay. This green dot, but of all the nails, like one dot on each nail not being even is pretty pretty good in my opinion um, as an overall flow do I care about that dot enough to change it self and my answer is no no I don't because I already edited the top coat on that hand, on that finger, and I don't really care. So we're gonna do clean up now after we close our bottles. Oh, she's doing airplane arms again. Look at her little airplane arms. She's like Superman. Okay, so let's close this too. It's cleanup time, so let's get going. Most of the base color was scooped out of the cuticle, so mostly all that we're having to deal with is top coat and any dot overspill. But there is a little bit of the base color in there because I actually did not clean that up before we applied top coat because I knew that there would be some more cleanup with the dots anyway. So I thought I would do it all in one fell swoop. I made a butt ton of coleslaw. And I ate some of it, but after I'm done, I'm going to eat more of it. Okay. That finger around the cuticle is good, but there's a bunch on here, so I'm going to get a Q-tip too. felt a little bit summerier. We did a uh, little bit of testing with some of the multi-chromes in a gradient. Uh, Don't Kill My Vibe, Cash Out, and Rhythm and Blues. And then we did a test with the same first two colors with, um, gosh, Hooked. I guess that is Hooked. But I decided they were too dark for my mood. Cleanup is so satisfying. Like when you go from a janky mess to looking like, mm, yes, very clean. With such a minimal uh, amount of like 
skill involved in the cleanup process. Like, there is not that much skill involved in the cleanup process. It's very nice. There's a little bit of dried something stuck there that I'm going to use um, the end of my cuticle trimmer to get really quick because it's a little bit pointier and thinner and I can just reach in there and yeah, scrape it off because I think it's a piece of cuticle that I missed. Sorry, to go off frame. I'll be back in just a second. Okay. Yes, better. Been very much in a terracotta mood these past couple of weeks. Um, but I was missing my greens and blues a little bit, so I'm glad that I get some of both in this design. back. I didn't even notice that you had left my big one. Hmm. That dot has a very slightly higher, like a little nipple in the middle of itself that didn't quite self-level before the dot had started to dry, I think. But that's okay. I'm literally the only person who will notice that. On that small of a scale. Here, let's get the undersides of these. Do you have any plans for Father's Day? Anybody in chat? We're going to brunch with my family and then a lunar with my husband's family. And we're going to visit my granddad in the hospital after brunch really briefly. He had uh, surgery to repair an ulcer, uh, not an ulcer, to repair a hernia uh, last week. And then he ended up, or I guess the week before last, because we just finished this week. Um, anyway, he ended up having a perforated ulcer uh, on, you know, not completely related and getting jaundice and got admitted to the hospital and is going to be in there for about another half a week. So we're going to go see him.
Okay. I am going to do one last little swoop on the edge of that green dot. Good. Okay, that hand is done with cleanup. Yay! Um, he's doing okay though. It's not like life threatening or anything. They just needed to. You know, the surgeon said when they found the ulcer, the perforated ulcer, if he was 20, we'd go in and just repair it really quick and it'd be fine, no problem. But he's in his late 80s and, you know, they don't want to to mess with that too much. Uh, so they're draining it elsewise which just takes a little bit while longer and they want to keep their eye on him and make sure he's recovering okay. But my Nana, who has dementia, is very confused about the fact that he's not there at home. You know, they live with my parents. So that has actually been, I think, the hardest part about this week so far with him in the hospital is having to reassure her constantly. Yeah, mm-hmm. My mom has a lot that she's dealing with. You know, she's... My granddad has skin cancer that is being treated. They did some surgery to remove some of the tissue, and he also has a topical treatment that he's using to kill some of the buds. Um, and then he also is doing, like, immunotherapy. Uh, which could possibly be contributing to the jaundice situation. Uh, the stress of that and then also having the perforated ulcer send stuff into the vicinity of the liver could have made the liver go, hey, excuse me, I'm not dealing with this right now. Um, you know, so she's doing all of that, but then my Nana with the dementia, pro you know, stuff, and then my uh, aunt also has metastatic breast cancer that she's been, you know, she had breast cancer 15 years ago and then was able to get into remission and then had some recurrence in the bone area around her eye, but she's been doing uh, hormonal uh, medication for that and has been keeping it at bay for several years, but then they found it elsewhere. And so she had to move back from Peru where she lived and now she's living with my mom and my mom is helping with her appointments too. It's a lot. There. That nail's done, except for a little dry bit that got stuck down in there. Get out of there. Okay, I'm going to do a little daub of acetone right there to help smooth that out too. Sorry, I had an itch.
Sorry, big cat. I spooked her. Okay. Getting all of this out. Very satisfying. I'm going to go in with Q-tip, actually, because I can feel the gook on my thumb. And I want it to be gone. to go in really quickly right here between these two dots again because I was trying to soften the edge of that one dot just a little bit I feel like that's fine. Uh, once I have cuticle oil on everything, uh, the dots won't be quite as glossy. I mean, as matte. And the glossier areas will be glossier. This one has a little bit of a nipple too, this pink dot over here. That's looking all right. We're almost done. We only have two nails left to clean up. Uh, for a second, I was like, why is that not coming off? Uh, it's because it's the scab of my hangnail. Come on, Gloria. Get with your own program. I told you we would come back and straighten this out a little bit. There we go. All straightened out. This big cat is so cute. <laughs> She's so lazy. Lounging on her pillow.
Okay, let's get rid of the bits on the underside. Okay, that is looking okay. Let's do the pinky. Okay. I'm gonna mix around the edges. Let's put some cuticle oil on and see how everything looks uh, with that. Friggin' I wish that my favorite cleanup brush did not have paint on the handle. Okay, that's just a small wish that I wish. I'm redistributing the oil that glued out on the thumb, by the way. That's why I keep going back to it. Okay. Once I wash my hands, the matteness of the dots will come back again. In the last polish pickup, there was a spray that was supposed to be a quick dry, but also work to moisturize your cuticles. It was, you know, because a lot of the quick dry drops are a type of oil. I don't know. I don't know. I also don't understand nail salons who take photos of people's nails when they're super oily. Like, I know, I, I mean, I guess they don't want to wait for that client's cuticle oil to all absorb it before they like tell them that their appointment's done and whatever because they want to like start their next client but it looks really silly to me You like? I'm glad. I'm pretty pleased with them. I think they're cute. Very light and refreshing. Which I need as it gets hotter a little bit. 
this little green dot over here I had not addressed I'm going to address it now very quickly with just a teeny touch of acetone and a very small brush there it doesn't need to be perfectly round it just needs to not have a big corner Okay. I really like your idea about going back and looking at old designs, by the way, for the 10-year anniversary of your blogging, etc. I think that's cute. And I don't think you need to stress too much about which ones you pick, because I think no matter which way you go with it, it would be really cool. Okay. All right. We're done. Except for right here, what's going on? Okay. We're done. <laughs> I'm going to go see if there's anybody to host. Yeah, I mean, you. I was like, how many different ways could she possibly do that? And then you listed more than I was thinking of, and I was like, yeah, okay, there, there is option here. It's not like just one way. So, you know, you do have multiple options, but all of them are cool. So, if you, whichever one you pick will be cool. <laughs> Okay, it looks like Bob Ross is the only one that's on that I would like to host. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to host Bob. And I will see you. I don't know. I'm getting super close to affiliate levels of things, um, in which case I will need to do some extra streams a couple of weeks uh, to qualify for the number of days of streamed because that will be the only thing I'm missing, so I might see you in a midweek stream. Otherwise, I'll see you at the end of the week, next weekend, hopefully. Bye!